For any Xbox or PlayStation codes or cheap games on any platform, use the referral link in the description. It'll take you to G2A.com. Use the promo code CHEZ over there and you'll get yourself 3% cash back. For all No Identity merchandise, hats, hoodies and t-shirts, follow the link in the description down below to the No Identity Fan Fiber website. Hey guys, welcome to episode number 17 of the Oviedo career mode series here on FIFA 17. We start with the second leg in the Copa del Rey against Real Sociedad away from home. And then we have a game against Almeria who are actually third, I believe, in the league table right now behind Cordoba. And we played Lugo in the last episode and we actually have them in uh, a couple of games time as well again. We were unfortunately beaten by Lugo away from home, so we could be asking for a measure of payback in that game, but Sociedad and Almeria to start things off. We got a draw in the first leg against Sociedad, a 1-1 draw away from, um, at home, sorry. So they have an away goal here, Real Sociedad. So we have a lot to play for. Obviously still waiting for some feedback from my scouts with regards to all of the players on the shortlist and obviously again we'll add to that as per your guys suggestions in the comment section over the next couple of episodes as well so we'll start off with this game against Sociedad and hopefully get ourselves through to the semi-finals of the uh, of the competition but we'll have to wait and see how we get on I will just quickly actually I'll do it in the next screen rather than making permanent changes uh, we'll uh, we'll alter things on the bench a little bit so that I've got options to bring substitutes on but uh, we'll play in, well it doesn't make much difference, there's not much difference at all is it between the home and away kit, just a slight shade of black to dark navy blue, but uh, I'll make a couple of changes to the subs bench to ensure that I have at least some options to uh, bring on should I need them. Vitti and uh, Walter. Ah, we have Figuera as well, of course. In the last episode, we brought in a new central midfielder, the, the, uh, Figuera, to uh, actually bulk out our numbers in midfield. So uh, he might even get a game here, coming off the bench to maybe even score the winner to send us through to the quarterfinals. Who knows? Drop the video a like if you enjoy. Subscribe to the channel too to make sure you don't miss out on more. And we'll head now to Real Sociedad. Oh, missed the challenge. Into Gaztaniaga. Didn't miss that challenge though. David Fernandez wins it back. Up to Michu. Around the corner there to Salbajon. Really heavy touch from him. Zuratuza will look to set Carlos Vela away. They equalised, of course, with the last kick of the game in the first leg, which was infuriating after we'd definitely been the better side of the two. When William Jose chests that down rather than trying to shoot with his head immediately, which would have been the best thing to do in that situation. That's a let off in the opening five minutes or so because that could quite easily have been 1 0 Sociedad already. If we score one, then uh, that's the only way we can go to extra time in this tie if we draw this game by. Uh, one goal each. If we score two and draw, then we'll go through and away goals. And if we win in 90 minutes, then we win in 90 minutes. And basically, it's winner takes all inside 90 minutes. And the only way we can go to extra time is with that 1 1 draw. So I do need a goal at the very least. I do need a goal. So I have to try my best to get one at some point in the next 81 minutes. Drill that wide there to Ayazabal. Try and shrug him off, but can't. Cross could come in. It's a dangerous one. Alfonso Herrero punches. They've shot immediately, which was not the right thing to do in that situation. But they're creating chances here at Sociedad. They've definitely started this game a lot better than they did the last one. Obviously, the last one was played in the snow, and it definitely affected how the game was played. They're able to play their more natural game in these conditions, and it's showing to start things off. I am Strugs here. Seems like they're desperate to keep throwing the crosses in. I've not gotten that away well and it's going to break free and we've got the tackle in and eventually we will clear our lines. I made a defensive mistake in the last game against them to... Uh, oh no, it was the game against Lugo I made the defensive mistake in, wasn't it? But uh, actually, no, I think I made a mistake for Vela's goal anyway. But Pereira's in here and we'll go across goal and wish that I'd turned inside and taken it on his right because apparently his left is useless. Castaniaga into Zoratuza, post and missed. Goes down, nothing given. David Costas just punts that away. I am under pressure here. This is not fun. This is just pure stress trying to keep Real Oviedo... Real Oviedo? Trying to keep Real Sociedad out. I'm Real Oviedo. Uh, they'll have a throw in here by the corner flag 25 minutes in. Thomas Fale will take it. He's got no options. No, he's got one. There's El Estondo. Early cross. Decent cross. Keeper punches, but only as far as Oyarzabal, who thankfully swivel volleys that well over the bar. I cannot cope right now. Rocha. Out wide there to Susayeta. It'll go through the gap to Pereira. Pull that back into Russia to Arise. Forward to Michu. 
out to Berhon. It would be a great time to score just before half time. And I could thread through Aris, who's onside here, running out of space, and the shot is blocked. So we're going to stay at nil nil at half time. And as things stand, Sociedad are heading through. We've got it all to do in the next half. Bella. Got Rocha with him. Inside there to Elistondo. Back to Liaramendi. There's gaps opening up here, but he's just running through them rather than playing a pass through any of them. That was what I was trying to stop him doing. Which I guess I did by forcing him to go solo. Pereira, back heel that. There we go. That's nicely into Michu. I'd say Michu, use your pace, but he has zero pace. Uh, Bahon, back to Michu. That touch was terrible, but he's used his physicality well. Can't pass the ball off. We've got a free kick in a decent position. Now, now would be a great time for Susayeta to score an absolute worldie from a set piece. That's dipping, but nowhere near enough. And Stondo down the line to Iliaramendi. Cross comes in. Win that header, please. Oh, that was a bit of a 50p head attempt, wasn't it? He tried to head that away, and it went that way. <laughs> that was terrible. Corner to come in from Oyarzabal. On his left foot. That's a good delivery. Up goes David Fernandez to get it away. Iliaramendi brings it down. Could shoot. Has done. And well held, actually, by Alfonso Herrera there. Half an hour to go. Still Sociedad with that one foot in the quarterfinals. But anything can happen. Rocha, through the gap there to Aris, out to Pereira, across to Aris again, Susayeta could get in behind here, he's got a bit of space, Yuri closing him down, Yuri's actually quite fast, I wasn't aware of that, across there to Pereira, out wide looking for Salba Hall, he'll take the shot early and draw a good save out of Ruli, he's trying to get that more across goal but didn't quite work, Susayeta will take the corner, it's a good delivery, who's underneath that, Oyarzabal unfortunately, tried to change play but it won't let me, on the volley first time Aris has smacked it well over the bar. Michu, oh, nice little back heel. And the run through from Russia. Oh, OK, we'll take the free kick then. Fair enough. Can Susayeta do a little bit better this time around? It's a similar sort of range. No, it's not. It's not even close to being a similar sort of range. It's a long way out. 36 yards. I'll give it a go. I'll drill it. Oh, Christ, that was nearly an exquisite free kick. I think that would have been the best free kick I've ever scored on FIFA. Or oh, definitely up there. Hernandez is the man there, then it's Arise, heavy touch, strike, goal, John Arise, there's our away goal to cancel out theirs, we lead after 73 minutes, what a hit, that was more of a, a hope than a hit, but oh my god, what a strike, the free kick was good enough a moment ago to draw the corner, and then that goal from John Arise has arrowed into the top corner, sorry Ruli, you're not getting near that one, now it's us that has a foot in the quarterfinals. Free kick for Sociedad, seven minutes to go. Inigo Martinez dinks that forward. I've missed with the header. Yuri with the effort, it's wide, and it'll be a goal kick. I wasn't sure whether that took a deflection. It didn't. I'm just going to try and waste time now. I've brought on Figuera to come on at Cam for the rather tired now uh, Jonathan Pereira. And Figuera, unfortunately, doesn't quite have the strength to get through there, but he nearly got the ball off Raul Navas. <laughs> nearly made a hell of an introduction to himself at this Real Oviedo side. But unfortunately, we haven't got the ball back. Sergio Canales is running away here. Four minutes to go. Head that home. Thank you for using your head and not kicking it. Alfonso Herrera will bowl this out wide. And I really do just want to waste as much time as possible. That pass was not meant to go there. Into Carlos Vela. Am I going to make another mistake that leads to an opposition goal? Potentially. No. David Fernandez with the header. Susieta just flicks that on. And that will waste more valuable seconds. Sergio Canales forward to Yuri. Yuri tackled by Susayeta. Take time, take time, take time, take time. Don't play the wrong pass. Just take your time. Work it away well. Waste some seconds. Get yourself into the quarterfinals of the Copa del Rey. Get some extra prize money for next season. Everybody's happy, right? Theoretically, a lovely flick around the corner by John Arise. And Viti's in here. He's not very high rated, but he is fit. He is thick. No, he is quick. Mitsu's there waiting. Oh, it's a terrible pass to him, though. Turn, pull it back. It's Viti. Lines up. Straight at Ruli, but I think we've wasted enough time there for the key for the referee to please blow his final whistle. Please, no, okay, not yet. Figuera, oh, nearly finds Michu with the through ball. Please, referee, we win 1 0 away from home thanks to that stunning goal from John Arise. Absolute thunderbolt into the top corner. We are through to the quarterfinals of the Copa del Rey. Fantastic. 
No idea what sort of prize money we'll get for next season added to our budget, but a cup run won't do us any harm whatsoever. We need to raise money by any means possible right now with this Oviedo side. Let's see if anything happens in the window between now and that game at the weekend against Almeria. If it does, then great. If it doesn't, then never mind. Press conference. Lorenzic accepts the contract. That's good. He's going to come in making another immediate signing as well as hoping to add to potential signings for... Uh, next season with pre-contracts and Luis Sanchez has accepted the pre-contract as well the youngster so he's going to get uh, added into the fold now and will be involved in um, in pre uh, in not necessarily in too many games but I will start to train him as soon as possible um, Laurentiix is going to be used as a wide midfielder mainly because of his pace and the fact that his passing stats are better than his defending stats so uh, he's going to be used as a right mid rather than a right back but that's a good signing just having bodies at the club right now is more valuable than actually having pure quality considering the situation we find ourselves in with the league and financially and squad depth we are four points clear at the top from Almeria who we face next five points clear of Cordoba this is a very important game coming up against the side that are in second avoiding defeat is more important than a victory can we avoid defeat and the next round of the Copa del Rey has been Drawn as well already. Jeeps, this is going to be a busy month. Youth Scout Report is in as well from Guidi. We have 72 to 88, maybe. Uh, 71 to 91, potentially. Maybe, 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 maybe. No. Sorry, Martin. We'll wait for another month's worth on all of those. And we'll head into this game against Dalmaria. This is... Oh, is it week after week? Oh my God, what, what a month. What a ridiculously busy month. Almeria next. Then we'll head as far as the Villarreal game and then we'll play that in tomorrow's episode. Oh, dearie me. Right, let's go, Almeria. What have you got? Lewis, down the line to Lavrenchik, who's getting a first start here on the right-hand side in this game. In there to Toche. Lovely turn. Toche with the effort. Drilled hard and low. The keeper can keep it out and Lucas Toro turns it home. Perfect start here. Less than three minutes on the clock. We lead at home against Almeria. First versus second. We couldn't have started off in a higher gear. The power from Toche's effort was just too much for the keeper. And to be fair, I don't think he was expecting the angle to be quite that acute when Toro looked to turn it back towards goal. I think he was expecting him to go to the near post. And he didn't. He went back across and he just couldn't adjust his feet quickly enough. We lead. Okay. Toro to Lavrenchix, out wide here to Eddie Lewis. He's going to cut this back to Lavrenchix. How's he crossing? Decent. Toche underneath it. Oh, what a save from Julian. I don't quite know how Toche won that header in the first place because it looked like the defender was favourite. Who's going to win that? Yoda is going to win that. Vialba would smack it back into the box and Aziz brings it down. We're well, not able to steal it off him. We could do there though. Lavrenchix does well. Making a good impression on his debut. Toche with a good turn. Looking for another one. Well blocked. Oh, and I can't get to the loose ball again. But no, I have gotten to the loose ball again. And their defenders are falling over each other. Here's Vila. Vila from the edge of the box. It wasn't far over, but it was over. Back to Pozo. Tackled him though. Oh, given away. Pozo out wide to Yoda. Inside again to Fidel. Lovely return ball to Yoda. Could move this from Almeria. Is he going to pull that back? Oh, jeeps. I could have gone anywhere. That really could have gone anywhere. Thankfully, he went straight into the keeper's arms. That definitely had me worried then. Lavrenchik's forward to the Alba. Lavrenchik's has gone again. It's a nice turn. Looking to drive into that space. I'll look to give it back to Toche, who's got some space here. Toche! Shooting with another good save. We could be 3 0 up here by now. Win that header, please. No, he hasn't. And that's going to go out for a throw in. The. Uh, What's the word I'm looking for? The weather is uh, causing me some issues again here, as it did in the last episode in the cup against Sociedad. But as was the case in that game, we've been able to get ourselves a 1-0 lead. And hopefully I can avoid giving away a silly equaliser in this one. Eddie Lewis fires wide. Ten minutes to go to a half-time, still 1-0. Oh, you just somehow managed to shrug off that challenge. I brought on Figuera at half-time for Lucas Toro. Lovely turn. Who uh, got an injury in that first half so I decided to just take him off he wasn't playing very well and Figueroa's come on and immediately made an impact actually the uh, Albert out wide here to Lewis the Renschix has gone down the line both free agents so far actually playing quite well and impressing whenever they've been on the pitch here's Figueroa again a lovely turn the ball into Vila into Vialba 
He's around the outside of one defender. Shots off. Good save. We'll keep this in, maybe. If he eventually takes a touch, look to work it back into the middle. But Navarro cuts it out. Chima Navarro gets it away. And oh, Pozo actually could set up a counter-attack. No, nope, Jorge's cut it out. 55 minutes played. Still 1-0. Mota played in over the top. Try and force him wide, which we've done well. And Fernandez will pick up the loose ball. Figueroa racing to that. Ortiz, look for Vialba. How's your touch? Decent. No strength, though, which is a shame. Can you tackle? Yes, you can. All right, good. Never mind. And now we'll play it to Lavrenchik. Get the angle. Have the shot. Ooh, but not find the bottom corner. Decent effort, but wide. 27 minutes to go. To Vialba. Around the corner. Ortiz. Oh, hello. Little back heel. Steal that off the defender, and Toche could be in. Poor touch from the defender, Toche, to seal the game. Nicely done. We lead 2-0 with 12 minutes to go. That was all their, undo their own doing. <sighs> Terrible turn from their number eight. And Totsi quite literally just ran off and put it in the back of the net. Cheers then. 2-0. Game over. We're going to win and extend our lead at the top. Totsi into Nando's. Just come on at Cam for Vialba who was running low on stamina. And Nando's got the pace here to get away. And has he got the ability to turn inside the defender? Yes, he has. Now look inside. Totsi's there. Oh, what a save from Julian. He's made a number of those in this game we could easily have won this by an absolute margin but their goalkeeper has pulled off at least three top quality saves to deny me the opportunity to really extend not only our points lead but our goal difference advantage too and now Kike's in at the other end but thankfully for me he fires wide otherwise they could have uh, decreased our goal, goal difference advantage with five minutes to go Figuera, play that over the top, looking for the run of Levenchik, who's on side and he's taking it that, that down brilliantly. Now he missed a, a similar opportunity earlier on, but he's not going to miss that one. We made it 3-0 in the last minute. Levenchik, on his debut, scores. Delighted. That's exactly what we wanted from him on that right-hand side, was to come up with goals. Susoyeta hasn't been that prolific on the right-hand side of midfield, and Levenchik has immediately come in and made a difference on that right-hand side. And to have raised the extra funds with the sale of Juan Carlos now as well and have the opportunity to bring a number of players in on pre-contracts for next season, this is really turning into what could become an extremely good side next season. 15 shots, 10 on target. That was a dominant performance against uh, Almeria there. We deserved that 3-0 scoreline, even though two of the goals came uh, in the final 10 to 15 minutes or so. We definitely deserved a large scoreline from that. I'm delighted with the performance and the scoreline and the way the league table looks. So moving forward, is anything going to happen between now and the game against... Oh, please don't be out for long. Three weeks for Lucas Toro. That's manageable. Javi Ontiveras. Uh, I don't think so. I'll leave him on the shortlist just in case, but I don't think so. Uh, let's have a quick train, and then we'll advance as far as that uh, Villarreal game. I'm not sure what to do training-wise. I do want to keep continuing to train uh, Herrero in goal. And I do want to continue to train Varela as well because he's got uh, decent potential at left back. But I don't know what to do about Eddie Lewis because obviously I want to start training that centre mid as well. There just aren't enough training slots for me right now, unfortunately. But quarterfinals coming up in the Copa del Rey and that will be the first game of tomorrow's episode. Uh, Luciano, have... <laughs> Luciano has had a, a, an approach made to him by... Uh, He's a striker, isn't he, Luciano? Yeah, by Stoke. He was on, what, 19,000 a week? Oh, he's already agreed with Stoke. All right, fair enough. Well, we will remove him from the shortlist then. It appears a number of the strikers that we were interested in are actually getting picked up. Uh, he looks like he could be decent. Still waiting for the full scout report. Rui does. Was he available on the pre-contract? He wasn't, unfortunately. All right, I'll have another look through that uh, a little bit later on in tomorrow's episode, perhaps, and see what we think we can do. Uh, again... To continue to leave your suggestions and I will add them to the list. But for now, that's all from me. Thank you very much for watching. Drop the video a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel for more. I'll see you.